Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going to be going over how to do a bar chart in Google Sheets. So if you saw my video on a column chart, it's basically the same thing except you take the column chart and you turn it on its side so that the bars are horizontal instead of vertical. So I've got my data segment and category. So I've got two dimensions and then I've got sales, uh, which is a measure. So if you just want to do a one dimension with a measure, uh, you can just select that, insert, select chart, and then go to bar chart. And you got your bar chart, it's pretty simple. If you want to do instead a two dimensionals, so we've got two different features that we want to chart uh, the sales by, then you have to transform the data a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So in Google Sheets, you can use the unique function. So if I do unique, and then I select the cells in the row, that will give me a unique list of the segments. And let's do that same thing for the category. So now I've got the unique values of segment, the unique values of category. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and paste this up here. So I'm going to go edit, paste special, and then paste values, and then I'm going to, let's move this down, all right, and now I'm going to trans transpose this, so now I'm going to go paste uh, transpose. So paste transpose just puts, if it's in a column, it puts it in a row, if it's in a row, then it puts it in a column, etc. So now I've got kind of a grid here of segments, in the rows and categories in the columns. So now I just have to fill in the sales numbers for these values. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the sum ifs calculation. Sorry, that didn't go. There we go. So with sum ifs, we do the sum range. I'm going to actually make it more dynamic. I'm going to select the whole column. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock that. And then I'm going to do the first criteria is the segment. I'm going to do the whole column. And then that's going to have to equal this consumer here. And I'm going to hit F4 until I get the uh, dollar sign in front of the E. That means it's locked to this column. Then I'm going to put in a second criteria, which is the category. So I'm going to select the whole column and lock that with F4. And then I'm going to select furniture. F1, uh, and then I'm going to hit F4 until I've got the dollar sign in front of the 1, which means it's locked to this row. And there we go. And now, since I did the referencing in such a way, whenever I drag it over and down, it will work properly. So you can see, you can check the work. So consumer furniture, uh, that's the sales number right there. And if we added another line, let's just add another line here. Um, let's say 100,000. You'll see it'll automatically add that 100,000 because it's adding up everything that has consumer and furniture in these two columns. Um, so if you're going to copy and paste new data in here, you just have to make sure that you have any unique values that might be added to it, added here and here for segment and category. All right, so now we've got our matrix here. Now we can go ahead and graph that. So if we select that and we go insert, we go chart. So we've got a column chart right now, but we want a bar chart. Um, so we'll start with, this is called a clustered bar chart. So you can see here we've got the different segments here and then the different colors are the different categories. So furniture, office supplies, technology. If we wanted to switch that, we can just choose this little checkbox here and it'll switch it to having the categories here and then the colors would be the segments. Either way is fine. All right, so we got that. If we choose stacking, then instead of having them clustered together, uh, they'll be stacked on top of each other. And if you hover over them, you can see the numbers. And if we do the 
then it'll normalize everything to 100% and it'll show you uh, the breakdown of percentages of each of those under it. So you can see this is 35%, this is 31, and this is 33.7%. And you can see the mixes are pretty similar among all the different ones in the uh, categories. And if we switch uh, columns and rows, you can see the mix is, is similar in that way as well. All right, and then you can customize. So I can customize the chart style. So I can change the background color if I want to give it a little bit of a background color. I can change the fonts uh, to whatever I want. Etc. So the chart titles, I can change the chart title. I can change this to Awesome Chart. Uh, you can change the font and such on that. You can change, you know, if I want it in the middle aligned or do I want it on the right, etc. The series, so I can put data labels so that people can see what the underlying values are. Error bars probably aren't useful in this case, but if you're doing some sort of scientific charting, you might want to do that. Uh, there's some options for the legend. Horizontal axis, I might want to add uh, labels for that. And I don't see the option for, if you want to slant the labels, you can do that. You can see here, how they're slanted. You can put in minimum and maximum values if you want to keep it to certain values, otherwise it'll automatically set those axes. Uh, so if I want to change the uh, labels here, uh, I would go here, so horizontal axis. So I would say this, in this case, this percentage, the way I have it, so it'll label it down there, and then I can do the vertical axis, and this would be segment in this case. And then it labels it there. All right. Grid lines, if I want to turn off the grid lines, I can do that. So you can see the grid lines behind it turned off. So you can go through here and you can look at the different options and get the style that you want right if you're going to present it or you're copying it into a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. So that's kind of all you really need to know to do these, uh, these bar charts in Google Sheets. So I hope you guys were able to follow along and thank you for watching.